Hi there. I'm making this video because actually I was I was working on another video which is coming out very very sh shortly and um, I came across a little sort of geometry issue and uh, and I fixed it but I thought actually I'll make a little video of that fix as you uh, may find that useful when you come across invalid geometry or you know sort of issues with geometry. So as you can see here I kind of clipped um, some Sicily um, CAPs that they're, they're um, like postcodes, like zip codes, and I did this clip in a sort of manual way. Uh, let me just click on that, and and you can see the geometry here. These are polygons, so the, these these they have a code, this sort of cap code, um, and I wanted to clip this data, and this is what happened when I wanted to use clip, which I'm showing in. Uh, more detail in, in another video. So I go to clip and I'm going to clip uh, this layer using that, that's a Sicilian data. Now if I run this I actually got back this invalid geometry message immediately. So I thought okay all right now <clears throat> I could back here go to parameters see the tool here advanced options and where it comes to invalid features, I could just ignore them. Don't don't worry about it. You know, just just don't filter them out, skip them. You know, just just don't worry about it. Which okay, that works, and I tried it, but it's perhaps not the sensible way forward. So what can QGIS do when you're coming across a bit of invalid geometry like this? Because you will get error messages in other tools. So it could easily impact on quality of data, your results, etc., etc., and even just being able to use the tool. So let's have a closer look um, at, at what we can do. So the best thing, actually, when you come across this sort of thing, is there's a tool called Check Validity. So I type Check in the toolbox. Don't forget the toolbox is this sort of cogwheel up here icon. Um, check val Validity. I've used it before. That's why it says Recently Used. And let's do that. Um, it's these Sicily postcodes that I kind of clipped and made myself and obviously didn't do a great job with that. So um, let's clip them and just run it. Th th there's some various things like ignore sort of ring self intersections and um, and also where we send the outfit. Uh, out. The output can be to a file or just to a temporary um, layer. And I'm going to put them just in temporary layer because I don't want to keep this. So alre already it's come back with some interesting stuff. So it's saying, you know, error count of two, some invalid output data, and some valid output data. Okay, so let's have a look at what it's done. So it's created these three layers, valid output, invalid output, error output. Don't forget as well that um, th this little sort of CPU kind of um, memory chip icon is, it's a temporary scratch layer. So if I save the project, they will not be saved with the project. So I've got those, the scratch layers. So what, what is it telling me? Well, first of all, with valid output, that's all the good stuff. Well, okay, turn it off, not interested in. Actually, let's turn off the background of Sicily, code, Sicily codes. So I've just got these objects, and um, which is showing invalid output. Let's just click on the attributes of that, open attribute table. Ah, okay. So this is a ring self intersection, and it's on those two objects. Let's have a look. Okay, so there's a bit of geometry failure there. Um, and um, and the, the points sort of represent that, that um, location and key um, coordinate where the intersection has taken place. See it says ring self intersection. That's the mapped it for it. Okay, so that's useful. It shows us, you know, wh where the invalid data is and um, uh, etc. So so that, that's, that's all good. Okay, so what can we do about it? Well, there's a very straightforward tool called Fixed Geometries. Um, and I can just click on Fixed Geometries. Uh, I can click on that data, which is this Sicily codes. That's the problem um, that I've been having. I'll just output it to memory again and let's just run it. Okay, so now we have this layer called fixed geometries. It looks looks okay. Let's run uh, check 
validity, just like we did before, on the one that's fixed. It says it's fixed, so it must be. We can't have any errors appearing. Let's do a run. There we go. Runs almost immediately, um, you know, very, very quickly. And the, uh, let's just turn off, um, so valid output is basically everything. Fixed geometries was the one we just fixed. So valid output is everything. There is nothing in invalid output. And in fact, if we right click on that, we can show feature count and it's zero. So fixed geometries uh, fixed it, which is great. So that's how you can quickly do stuff. Just as a final point before I leave you, there is a tool called Repair Shapefile. Now Repair Shapefile is a tool that gets gets rid of, um, sorry, uh, recreates missing or broken SHX files, that index file, um, which can be very useful because that's, that is a file that can get corrupted. That tool is available effectively in the art map, in, art map environment, in the ArcGIS environment in the toolbox, but you can actually do it from QGIS as well. You can repair a shapefile, specifically a shapefile from the tool there. Anyway, I hope you find that um, useful. So you can check the validity of your geometry and then fix geometry. Thank you very much.